Goodness gracious. How's that? 48 degrees out here? Put it out of the way. Hey, no. Go. Ah. Well, we went on a walk. And it was sh shorter than they wanted. They wanted the walk to keep going. Actually, it was a good sized walk, but they enjoyed this cold weather. I'm going to have some hot coffee, get my morning started here. Mm. You know, the truth is, my morning does start with these two. Them pulling me out, making me take a little journey around the neighborhood. They, uh, they really get me going. But, um, uh, Today, I was going to talk about, uh, well, Sam Altman is back. The last time I did a video, he was out. Now he's back. And now the, the question is, what did the board freak out about? What was it that the board freaked out about that seems and appears to be considerably uh, unfreak outable? by many other people, including uh, some of the owners and the operators of the company. And boy, howdy, uh, the people at the company came out heavy for Sam. They were lots of, uh, they probably would have lost 80% of their staff, I think, if they had uh, continued. Um, but the thing is that he's back and no one's saying exactly what's going on. Uh, there's some pretty good videos. I'll see if I can put some links down below of people that, that went through and tried to figure out what was going on. It doesn't seem to be safety related, but that's conjecture because it's a couple of people that are more knowledgeable uh, didn't seem to be freaking out about safety. Uh, the largest conspiracy conspiracy theory right now. It's called the conspiracy theory because nobody's exactly telling anybody that what's seriously going on is that it's got something to do with QSTAR. And QSTAR is a program much like, uh, have, if you've ever seen the movie War Games, uh, I'm going to do a a summary, but I do encourage you. This is this is a spoiler to War Games. <laughs> so about thirty years ago. So I'm sorry if you haven't heard the ending of War Games. This is a spoiler. <laughs> uh, at the end of War Games, uh, our hero is trying to teach the uh, AI program that's in charge of the warheads that it wouldn't be smart to launch them, no matter what. And so he, uh, they were said, you know, bring up tic-tac-toe. He's playing tic-tac-toe, and they pretty soon showed that tic-tac-toe is not winnable if both people know how to play the game. And he says, this is going too slow. How can we speed it up? And then one person says, you can make the computer play itself. And when it does that, of course, Tic Tac goes, goes a lot faster. And then you see go like crazy fast. And then uh, the uh, computer starts to play war games, and, uh, atomic war games and things of that nature. And then after a while, it's got, uh, it figures out that that's an unwinnable scenario as well. Well, that's, that's not exactly what QSTAR does, but what QSTAR does is just like tic-tac-toe, it's trying to, it's a technique of, instead of waiting for user feedback, that, oh, that was a good answer or a bad answer, it's starting to let the computer look at the answers and have the computer figure out if it's good answers or bad answers. 
and then the computer can go super fast like it did in war games now a lot of people thought this won't go exactly correct because after a while it'll go askew there's no correcting factors that would make it go back into uh, the correct responses because once it accepted the wrong responses the wrong responses became the correct responses now what the analysis seems to show is that that's not the case and i say analysis because there's some papers written about it and those videos that i have linked below go a little more details about those papers they are but it's kind of interesting and it may be one of those things where we've uh, we're approaching the point where the ai can uh, enhance itself without a lot of interaction with uh, people and data sets created by people uh, i think it'll be fascinating it'll be interesting uh luna heard some popping over there i don't know what that was but she doesn't like pops she's gonna go inside. pepper doesn't care. sounds like somebody hammering oh, it almost sounds like a, a shutter blowing in the wind oh anyway so that's the summary and you know what i'm cold it's actually you know 48 degrees is not super cold especially when i'm dressed like this but it's windy and when the wind comes through it pulls all the heat that's around me and so i'm not exactly comfortable <laughs> not as much as pepper she's got her fur and she's happy with that she's got a stick she's got fur what more could a puppy dog want just enjoy my stick dad just enjoy my stick it tastes good oh dad it's a good stick it's a good stick pepper yes it is a good stick all right well i'll leave you guys with q star and i'll talk to you later